Hello everyone, this is Derek with Reef Automation Tutorials for Neptune Systems. Today I'm going to show you how to make wattage alerts based on outlets on an EB832. Just to reiterate what I said, this will only work with an EB832. What this is meant for is to produce alerts or any type of programming that you need based on wattage on specific outlets on the EB832. So let's get started. So if you have any EB832, the easiest way to do this is through tasks. So if you go to tasks, which is the icon right there, and then you go to power usage alarm, you can make your own power usage alarms just based on the tasks right here. So you would click on the specific output that you would like, and then you'd put your minimum and maximum, and then it would produce an alarm. That is one way to do it. When I do alarms, I typically like to actually program them or hard code them into the email or the alarm outlet itself. And the reason I do this is I like to have the ability to know what is going to supersede what based on its importance. So if I have an outlet that is very important that I need to know specifically when the power is higher or lower, and alert me right away, I'm going to put that towards the bottom as an apex coding. Anything on the bottom will alert before anything on the top. So the command for this is if output, and then you put the output. And again, you can only put outputs that are on an EB832. So for instance, I have a chiller on my EB832. If reef chiller watts is greater than let's say 100 then on and I can also put an additional one if reef chiller watts is less than 10 then on and that right there would be the command that you would use for knowing if wattage is a specific amount on a specific outlet and again we're using the email or the base email outlet so this would alert me if that is true you can also program this into of course any outlet and if the wattage goes a specific amount you can have it programmed to do anything else so that's how you program wattage alerts or alarms for specific devices on the EBA 32 I want to also thank you uh, say a big shout out and thank you to Brian Bench who basically taught me how to do this as it is not something that is documented easily or found online so again thank you Brian Bench for pointing this out at a stream that I did and also, if you like the video, make sure that you hit a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, we do live streams every weekend where we give away free stuff. So hopefully uh, I get to see you in a stream. Thank you for watching. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section.